at når man har set dem til optagelsesamtaler, så ser de meget forskellige ud. De har jo alle mulige slags tøj på. De er langhårede. Og de har, har ringe i ørerne og i næserne, hvad ved jeg. Og, og, og det har jeg jo så sagt til dem, at det skal de nok forvente, at det vil vi ikke se. Og så ser man dem lige pludselig i den her uniform der. Og det er, den er jo fin og flot og ny. Og de ser ud som om de simpelthen er kommet lige ud fra, fra øh, ekviperingsforretningen. Øh, så det er klart, at... Øh, at det gør jo også et vist indtryk på mig, når jeg ser dem og tænker, Nå, nu er de kommet ind i systemet. I think generally that school uniforms are a good idea. I think it creates a nice identity within a school, and I think usually, if it's looked after well, it looks smart. Um, i think sometimes school uniform can be abused um, and it ends up looking disrespectful rather than respectful. I think the advantage of having a school uniform is that everybody has to wear the same clothes. So those children or those children's parents who are better off who could perhaps afford smarter clothes, obviously then all the kids look exactly the same rather than some looking more up to date and more trendy than others and others feeling disadvantaged because perhaps they haven't got the latest shoes or the latest fashionable clothes. Um, I think it, it can again depend on the school uniform. I think perhaps some school uniforms that tend to have sort of bright stripy blazers or my wife's school they had straw boaters. We used to wear caps. Well again You know, you got targeted by kids from other schools straight away. The first thing they would do would be to nick your cap and throw it in the road. So in some ways that identified you as being at a certain school, but in other ways you became then a target, perhaps for bullying. Okay, thank you very much. Um, well, I've experienced having to wear uniforms for school but also not having to. Um, I know that um, schools in Kenya um, and Bangladesh and in the UK I had to wear all uniforms but when I went to Denmark obviously I didn't. Um, so I've experienced both. Um, to be honest I think it's because society in the UK it is just so standard to wear them it's not questioned um, so I think children try and slightly alter the uniforms to try and get their opinions across um, no I really don't think that Danish society or for the for example would uh sit comfortably um with school uniforms um I think trying to establish it in today's era would be impossible. I think that it's accepted in the UK and just not questioned because of traditions um but I wouldn't imagine that in uh, very socialist societies like the European, Scandinavian, that a uniform would ever work. Um, at primary school we didn't have any uniform, but at secondary school we did, yes. Um, black shoes, black trousers, a burgundy jumper a burgundy tie, um, a white shirt and a, a black blazer. Well, yeah, because you've got to wear the same thing every day. But um, it gave the school some identity, I suppose. So it's, it's nice to feel part of a, a team and establishment. And as you say, you don't have to think about what you wear in the morning, but out of school hours, you can often get some conflict from other schools who wear different uniforms. So... It's very easy to identify what school you came from. Um, not really any problems, but some messing around in the park and things like that. Okay, thank you very much.